Some people have it, and some people don't. But those who utilize this ability are the ones who can change the course of history. In fact, they can change the course of the world. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. The topic of discussion, the power of envision. Just before I get started, check this out. For those of you who I know you're viewing the videos because I've been checking them out lately, and if you happen to be passing by and you're viewing the vi videos and you like it, would you kindly hit the like button so that way I know that you've been there and you've been checking it out. And I hope that what we're doing is a source of inspirational motivation, blessings to you in your life, and that ultimately it's going to make a difference in your quest for success, health, happiness, prosperity, love, joy, and money during your earthly pilgrimage. Also, I'm asking you, would you kindly hit that red button that says subscribe? Subscribe to the Tyrone Bowman Tonight YouTube channel. Greatly appreciate it. Now to the topic of discussion, the power of envision. Long before anything has ever occurred in life, individuals must have a keen insight within his or her or own mind to be able to see something before it takes place. And what is envision? I'm not talking about vision. I'm talking about envision. Envision is when you can go inside of your own mind. Yes, inside of your own mind. This is an inward thing here. And on the inside of your mind, you have the ability, yes, some call it the power of auto-suggestion, meaning you can automatically program your own mind for good or for bad, for positive or for negative. But when you start going on the inside of your own mind and you push through the chambers of your mind and start seeing what you know is possible in your life, there isn't anything, anyone, or anybody that can stop you from envisioning who you are, what you are, what you can be, do, and have during your lifetime. Most individuals set limitations themselves. Society cannot limit you as to what you can succeed. They don't have the power, nor do they have the authority to stop you from envisioning what your life should be. Many years ago, there was a man who wanted to build a particular kind of city. And he belonged to a distinguished organization, for lack of a better word. He had his driver drive him out into a desert. And he told his driver to leave him that he would find his way back home. He stayed there all day long, just simply looking at the sky and looking at the sun. Most individuals would have termed him and deemed him crazy, insane, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, as we say. They would have just given up on him. They would say, this guy is off his rocker. What is he doing? Well, idiosyncratic minds or idiosyncratic minds rather are different from any other mind because they have the power and the ability to be able to see what others cannot see and this man began to envision a city where did he see it he saw it on the inside of his mind he envisioned hotels he envisioned houses he envisioned a theme park. In fact, he envisioned an entire city. He envisioned gambling palaces that would take place. And he came back and he spoke to the consortium and he asked them for a loan. And they gave him a couple million dollars and he promised them that they would get huge dividends on their investment. Well, the consortium gave him the loan. And then the time came, he went out to the desert and he built what he had envisioned on his mind. 
But the only problem was he opened on Christmas Day. And as a result of that, it rained on Christmas Day. So therefore, the promised return on the monies did not happen. And all of a sudden, tragedy hit this man. But many years later, they found out that his vision that he had envisioned was in fact a real reality. And the name of that city is called Las Vegas. And what is Las Vegas called? The Sin City of America. What goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. That is the slogan. Do you not know that an architect, in order to be able to schematically draw a design as to what a particular building was, is going to be like, he or she must envision it in their own mind. And what they see in their mind is what they begin to write and sketch out on paper. I remember when I was in junior high school, I wanted to be an architect because I had the ability to be able to draw schematics and things of that nature. Sometimes I do it periodically, but not as much as I used to. In order for anything to take place, look at corporate America, the power of envision. And the word power is defined as authority. You have the God giving divine authority to freelance in your own mind. No one can tell you what you can't envision. No one can tell you what you can be, do, and have. No one can tell you that you can't arise out of poverty into prosperity. We determine during the course of our lives our own self-worth. No one but you and I can determine. I have my own plan. Well, it's not a plan, but our own envisionment within my own mind. As an inspirational, motivational teacher, it's simple. I want to begin to motivate and to inspire you to use your mind like you've never used it before. Use your mind and envision to come out of poverty. Use your mind to get your body into shape and to have the physique that you desire to have. Use the power of envision within your mind to get your health back. Use the power of envision to see yourself being, doing, and having that which you desire to be, to do, and to have. Don't allow your environment and surroundings to stop you. Don't allow the lack of something thereof to stop you. There is no millionaire or billionaire who ever started out with money. They envisioned the possibility of earning the green. How? How did they do it, Tyrone? Sometimes through investments, stocks, bonds, dividends, goods and services. What do you have in exchange for the monetary value of your gift, talent, and ability that you would like to have in this life? Envision your way into a fantastic future. Envision your way into success. Envision your way out of a set of circumstances and situations that you find yourself in and begin to start to envision yourself living the life that you desire to live. And you know what you're going to find out after a while? You're going to be like that gentleman was when he went out to the desert and he envisioned an entire city. Architects, bankers, doctors, lawyers, teachers, professors, janitors, carpenters, masonaries, Religious leaders, they've all had and have utilized the power of self in vision. Begin to see it, begin to embrace it, begin to utilize it, and don't you stop until you have succeeded. You may have to start your life over. You may find yourself in a set of circumstances and situations right now that you never fathomed or believed that would occur. But I'm letting you know, I'm your mind coach. Yes, I am. I'm your mind cheerleader. 
I am the biggest fan in your mind. And I'm telling you that you can, you will, and you shall arise out of nothing into something. You've already been predestinated by divine providence to succeed. So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to complain? Are you going to crumble? Are you going to just become envious and jealous of what others are being, doing, and having? Or are you going to begin to go deep within your mind and start to envision who and what you really are? And always remember, there is a finish line in the game of life. And you can be one of the greatest winners of all time through the power of envision. Never surrender, never quit.